You're here because you have low fuel pressure or volume, or the fuel pump has low current. This is your alternative to using a gauge to test fuel pressure and fuel volume. We're going to use a lab scope with a low current probe and look at the fuel pump's waveform. Look at all these bad fuel pumps. They were found with fuel pump amps testing when regular fuel pressure and volume testing missed them. Look at this close up. Look at the wear pattern. This is the brush wear pattern and you can see how far the commentators are wore down. The dark area, that's where the brushes weren't making contacts. Now, think about this fuel pump stopping when the brushes are on the dark area. This would actually cause a no start condition. This is probably where you hit the tank with a hammer and it starts up again. This is why fuel pump amps testing is so valuable. You should learn it. It helps with regular fuel pump testing and intermittent problems. Use a vehicle specific wiring diagram to find out where to connect your low current probe. In this example it's easiest to remove the fuel pump relay and use a jumper wire. Place a jumper wire from the battery to the fuel pump feed and then connect a low current amp probe around the jumper lead. You can also place a low current probe down by the fuel pump. Use the easiest location to get to, whatever's easy for you. First, measure the average current. Compare your reading to specifications. In this example, the spec is 4 to 8 amps. The pump current draw is near the minimum. It's reading 4 amps average. This may be where you want to go do fuel pump circuit testing. You don't want to fail the fuel pump for being at the minimum. You'll want to keep this in mind if the engine's running lean and you cannot find any other reason. But for now, let's continue testing. Next, look at the difference between the highest and the lowest amps. The difference between the two shouldn't exceed 15% of the total current draw. If the difference is greater than 15%, don't fail the pump. Once again, you'll want to keep it in mind, but for now let's keep testing. A dirty fuel filter can cause the difference to be over 15%. Use the cursors to measure one revolution of the fuel pump. Calculate the fuel pump's RPM. This is the time it takes for the pump to turn around one time to have one pump revolution. That's 9.12 milliseconds. Divide 60 thousands, that's how many milliseconds in a minute, by the pump's revolution time, 9.12 there. And you can see the calculator gives us our results. This is 6,578. That is the fuel pump's RPM. Now, the RPM of the fuel pump should stay between 3,400 and 10,000. I know that's a very wide specification. But you're going to use the three factors of the waveform to evaluate the pump. Current draw and the pump's RPM are the two most important factors. Current draw. If the current draw is near the high end of the specification, check the fuel filter. The harder the pump works, current draw, the higher the fuel pressure or volume is going to be. If current draw isn't within specifications, then you need to go to fuel pump circuit testing. The difference in the highest and the lowest amps. The difference is the indication of the fuel pump's internal circuitry. It is not a good practice to replace the pump based on the highest and the lowest amps. Back to fuel pump RPM. If the RPM is too slow, check current draw, the B plus, and the ground to the pump. If the RPM is too high, it's spinning too fast and it isn't delivering enough fuel. Replace the fuel pump. Fuel pump current waveform testing has proven to be one of the most productive tests we have ever used for testing fuel pumps. Take the time to learn the procedure. At minimum, let's measure the current draw with an amp meter. This is how you do that. Set up your DVOM to measure amps. This may include moving the leads 
to the milliamp position. Remove the relay. Place the positive amp meter lead at the B plus terminal of the relay. On some vehicles, the ignition may have to be in the run position. Place the negative amp meter lead at the fuel pump's terminal of the relay. You're replacing the relay with the amp meter. Compare the current draw to specifications. If current draw is out of specs, go to fuel pump circuit testing and find out why. If current draw is near the high end of the spec, check the fuel filter once again. It's no difference than using a low current probe. 